Hey guys, today I'm so excited because I have 10 Dollar Tree spring and Easter hacks to share with you and I cannot wait. So let's get to it. Dollar Tree carries these cutest little eggs and they make the perfect egg to go inside of an Easter basket. I grabbed the chick and the bunny and the Cadbury eggs are honestly probably the best candy of all time. I like to sort them between the yellow and then the white and the pink together. That leaves the blue. We'll talk about those in a second. Now you don't have to divide them, but I think the yellow looks so cute inside of this little chick. And I think the pink and the white look so cute inside the little bunny. Now for those blue ones, that means that you get to have a few of them and honestly, let's admit it, that might be the best hack ever. A little something for them and a little something for you. Now for these carrot ones, I'd love to pick up the chocolate covered carrots. You can get them at Dollar Tree or at Walmart and you have just the cutest little Easter basket fillers. Now, uh, you may have noticed I'm missing a few eggs and that's because I have teenagers in the house that could not wait till Easter, but at least they have good tasting candy. If you are looking for items to fill for a teenage girl, these Dollar Tree sponges, makeup sponges are fantastic. I've been using it for the last month and for $1.25, you cannot find a better price than that. I also really love these LA Color eyeshadows. Again, I've been using it to make sure it lasts all day and it does. I don't like the brush though, so use a regular eyeshadow brush, toss the one that comes with it. I like Dollar Tree socks. I think they are super cute. However, I have a hard time with socks. I don't know if you're like me, but a lot of times the heels come up over my heel and that drives me nuts. But I found these socks on Amazon. They come in two different sizes. I'm able to get the smaller size for the five to eight because I wear six and a half. I think that is brilliant that they have two different sizes. And I love these socks. They fit me so well and my daughter wears a size six. So these are our socks I'm actually gonna be putting in for her Easter basket. Really honestly, I think tween and teen girls are so easy to find little things for. Now, if you're looking for a little boy, Legos are another great option to put inside of these. I actually got that idea from Megan over at Glue Guns and Roses. She did that with ornaments at Christmas and I think it's brilliant for to put in an ornament and just as brilliant to put in an egg at Easter. For this hack, you're gonna want one of these taller Dollar Tree signs. And if you can find the sign that spells out the word hop, fantastic. Otherwise, grab some stencils or you can even print some off with your printer if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You just need an H and a P. If you're using the sign, you are gonna cut the H and the P off. I find it easier to just use a box cutter to do that. And I also use the metal egg to kind of give me some guidance as I did that. If you happen to be using some stencils, then you can just trace around straight on your sign and then go in with some paint or a paint marker, whichever one you want. Once I had these cut out, I did sand them down to smooth them out just a little bit. I then went ahead and painted the edges and then brought it up over the sides just a little bit, kind of feathered it on to give it a more finished look. For the O, you're simply just going to use an Easter egg and I absolutely love these chunky ones. I think they are fantastic, but for some reason, if you can't find these, then you can also use the ornament ones that they have. They do come in a pack of eight, so you can grab one of those and then use the other seven to create like a garland or something with them. Just go ahead and paint them and then I wanted to add some spots or circles on mine, so I just use these sponges to do that and then the exact same colors I had used earlier for the H and the P. Once all the paint dries, you just wanna attach all of your letters. I went in with some hot glue, but of course you could do some wood glue as well. What I really love about this is that you can really customize it and choose the colors that match your decor best. I also love that it gives some vertical height to your decor because I feel like that's something that we're always missing when we're going to decorate. And this is such an easy sign to create. It only takes a few minutes to do it and it is stunning. For this next super easy hack, you're gonna grab one of these bunny garland signs. And it doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna go with this one because it matches my front porch. I grabbed a couple of them, but what's great about this is you can get just one or as many as you need to make your garland as long as you want. And you're just gonna take those bunnies right off of their sign. I went ahead and grabbed some pom-poms to go with this as well. And then you're gonna just gonna grab some twine and a large, 
needle and you're just gonna start putting them on. So you're gonna do a couple of pom-poms, a bunny, more pom-poms, whatever you want. Lay it out however you need, it doesn't even matter. And you have yourself a super cute garland that can go anywhere, you can go on a fireplace, a banister. I put it outside, I think it is so cute and it was so simple and it took, again, a couple of minutes to do. I like my garland to be in odd number, so I kept one of those bunnies and set it aside. So now we're gonna make a super easy beaded bunny. So you're just gonna take your twine and you're gonna loop it through one of the holes on the bunny's ear. After that, you can just thread all of those beads on. Now I find it easier to get your beads on if you go ahead and add some tape on the end of your twine, then they'll just thread on super easily. Once you have all of your beads on, then you can just tie a couple knots at the very top and those that will then keep those beads in place. The other thing you can do is add just a little dab of hot glue right into the hole of that very top bead and that will add that extra security to make sure those beads don't slip off. The last thing to do is to create a tassel that we're gonna put onto that other hole of the bunny ear. Now all you're gonna do is take that twine and wrap it around your hands a few times or your fingers and then before you can apply that to the bunny ear, you're gonna take another piece of twine and you're gonna loop that through that other hole then you're gonna tie on that twine that you wrapped around your hands. Not that, take a, another piece of twine and then at the top of that twine, you're gonna wrap it around. See where I'm going with this? A few times, tie that off into a knot. Now you can trim your tassel so that it actually looks like a tassel. And this is all done. It really is great to style this like in a vignette. I love wrapping it around a candle, but honestly, I ended up putting this outside and I hung it on this little tin or bucket or whatever you want to call it with some floral in it. I think it looks so cute and it's perfect for Easter. It looks so cute for spring. I am so into bunnies for spring. Speaking of bunnies, I absolutely love this little bunny wreath form that Dollar Tree has. And for this next hack, all you need is that wreath form and some pom-poms. You're simply gonna take your pom-poms and some hot glue and you are going to cover up your wreath form and make the cutest little snow bunny ever. Now, here's the thing. I am using all three different sizes of pom-poms. I have large, medium, and small that Dollar Tree carries, but it honestly doesn't matter what size pom-poms that you use. You can use all one size or you can vary the sizes like I did here. The whole point is that you just make sure that you cover the entire wreath form. Now, hot glue does not like to stick to metal, so something to keep in mind is that you do wanna place your hot glue on the metal and the pom-pom as well so that you are sticking pom-pom to pom-pom. I hope that makes sense. To cover all of your bases, you also wanna come in with some hot glue on the back side, and that will make sure that all your pom-poms are really secure. So you can see that I use the larger pom-poms on the outside of the larger part of the wreath form. I took the medium size on the inside, and then I went in with the smaller pom-poms on the ears. Again, it honestly doesn't matter what size pom-poms you use. I think this would be really cute with a whole bunch of little bitty pom-poms over the entire thing, or the medium size ones, or how cute would the ears have been if I used the large ones. Anything that you do, I just think it would make a really cute bunny. The last thing I wanted to do was add a little bow on the bunny's ear. And so I just took two pieces of this burlap ribbon. I folded one of them in half, and then I took some twine and I wrapped it around the center. And then hot glued that right to the bunny's ear. To cover up that twine, I just have three of these little egg base fillers. Just hot glue that straight on, and this bunny is all done. I think she is so cute. I absolutely love it. How simple and easy is this to do? I found this little gem in the Dollar Tree Plus section for only $3, and I just grabbed some of Dollar Tree's stickers and I am spelling out the word welcome. I always like to start right in the center and then work my way out, but once you have that on there, it's all done, and with a couple of minutes and a couple of supplies, you have yourself a super cute door hanger. I wasn't kidding when I said I'm obsessed with bunnies for spring. I just think they are so cute, and isn't this sign super welcoming? I absolutely love it. Now, if bunnies aren't your thing, Dollar Tree also carries this cute little egg sign in their plus section. I printed off this cute little chick 
And then I just grabbed some of Dollar Tree's vinyl. If you have a cutting machine like a Cricut, then you can by all means use that. But I wanted to give you another option in case you don't. All you're gonna do is flip your vinyl over, trace out your image, and then you can hand cut it. After you have that, you're just gonna peel it like a sticker and you can apply it right on your egg. I actually went ahead and printed a smaller chick as well and cut out two of those and applied it onto the two eggs on the side. You can leave it here or you can do what I did, which is the last thing. And I just took a paint marker from Arteza and I wrote out the word peep peep. Now, I actually have a fun idea for this after spring and Easter so I can turn this into a really cute piece of kitchen decor. So you're gonna have to make sure that you come back and see that. I really love how bright and cheery this sign is. It just really screams spring and Easter to me. I would love to know, are you more of a bunny or a chick for Easter? I absolutely think this Dollar Tree bunny is super cute, but I was inspired by this one I saw at Walmart and knew that I could take the Dollar Tree bunny up just a notch. So I grabbed first one of these large pom-poms from Dollar Tree and hot glue that to his little bum, picked up some ribbon, tied that on his neck, to add a little bow. And the last thing he needs is a carrot to hold in his hands. And Dollar Tree is carrying these larger carrots this year. I love them. So I just grabbed one of them and hot glued it straight in his hands. This was so easy to do. I couldn't just do one. I had to do two and give him a little brother. Whether you are using this for decor or you're giving this as a gift and putting it in an Easter basket, whatever you do, aren't they cute and they are so easy and fast to do. I absolutely love these carrot reforms from Dollar Tree. They are so cute, but I'm not gonna be using them for wreaths. I'm gonna be just painting the tops of them. I have some of Arteza's outdoor paint. That way you can use them indoor, outdoor. I want them to pop a little bit more. So just paint those carrot tops and then you can decide how you want to style them. You can leave them inside and put them in a little planner or you can stick them outside. They would make great yard art. You can also grab a couple of them and put them in an old pot like I did here, just one that I had lying around. I just stuck a couple of them straight into there. I also have this care patch sign that I picked up in the plus section at Dollar Tree. I think they pair really nicely with that and you can just grab one and stick it right in front of there. You can do so many different things with these. They definitely do not need to be used as wreath forms, but I think that green really does help them pop a lot more. A couple videos ago, I shared with you how I love making DIY customized doormats. While at the same time I made the doormat, I went ahead and I decided to make a canvas and you're going to love this. So for this, you can use any size of canvas. I'm using a 16 by 20. I like to buy them in a bundle from Michaels because that's where I find the best pricing. Now it's time to pick out your stencils and it can be any shape that you want. You can use this for any season or holiday. I'm going with the eggs that I use for my mat. Now I love the one egg because it has that lacy look and it's really going to look cool when this whole thing is put together. So then you need two shades of one color of paint. Does that make sense? So I'm going in with a lighter pink here and then I'm gonna go in with a darker pink. So for the lighter shade, I concentrated on the center of that egg and then I use that darker shade to go around the outside perimeter. You wanna make sure that you also hit the edges of your frame, otherwise it's gonna look like an unfinished project. Once the paint dries, now you are gonna remove the smaller egg and go back in with that lighter color and you are gonna concentrate it in that egg and then really misting it on that bottom half of the frame, giving it not a really heavy coat, you want heavier on the bottom and then lighter more moving towards the top, creating an ombre effect. And you end up with the most gorgeous piece of art and I think it looks so stunning to display as a backdrop to like a little vignette. I absolutely love this. And again, you can use it for so many different like holidays and seasons. You don't have to do it with just eggs. This would look really cute with like bunnies. You could use the ornaments at Christmas time. So many different options. I absolutely love this. If you wanna see more videos like this and you haven't hit subscribe, I hope you will consider it. Here's another video that I have picked out for you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.